Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. So this morning, uh, when I was checking my comments, I got a comment from a viewer named Alan. And he said to me, Alan, me, you say you're a big reader. Do you have a library of rock and roll books? Oh, yes, I do, Alan. Yes, I do. So I thought that was a cool idea for a new series. I have a series on Laserdiscs and movies and my archives. And here's going to be a new playlist called books, periodicals, magazines. Maybe uh, I could even do tour books. I have tons and tons of this stuff. And uh, like I do with my regular collection of, you know, CDs uh, and Laserdiscs, none of this stuff makes it into the official catalog until I read them cover to cover. I am a voracious reader. Right now I am reading this. I read books and magazines. This is what I'm currently reading. This is a great series called The History of Rock by Uncut Magazine. And these are reproductions of original articles from back in the day. And uh, I love these. So this is what I'm currently reading. If you ever speak to somebody who works with me on my lunch hour, or lunch half hour, I get a half hour, I'm always reading cool books. Um, so anyway, here's going to be episode one of my book collection. And this is going to be just books on the Rolling Stones. Now... I only tend to keep special books, coffee table books, reference books, uh, with the Stones a little bit different. Um, I, I don't keep every book on the Rolling Stones, that's for sure that I've read. But uh, some of them, that, that means something. So without further ado, I don't want this video to be too long, but I have, uh, I believe, 68 books here on the Rolling Stones. So let's start going through them. My official book collection, uh, let's start with the Rolling Stones. This is a beautiful Coffee Table book called Let It Bleed, The Rolling Stones, Altamont, and the End of the 60s by Ethan Russell. Uh, I don't know if any of this stuff is still available. Probably not. But this is one of those really classy, beautiful books. But again, I don't want to spend too much time on each because this uh, video will be hours and hours long. And I don't know how the hell I'm going to fit all these, but we'll, we'll, we're doing it live. We'll see what happens. Uh, this is a famous book written by Mick Keith and Charlie and Ro Ronnie, according to the Rolling Stones. And uh, that was pretty good. And hardcover book. You know, according to the Stones, from straight from the horse's mouth. I thought it was a pretty good book. Uh, similar to that is the Stones 50. Right there, another, you know, these are beautiful looking books, that's for sure. And a lot of photographs. Uh, there's a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of Stones books that are largely photograph books. And I tend not to get them because there's just a million of them. I'm more interested in the writing. I, I, I really like Bill Wyman's books, and I thought this was a really good one, Rolling with the Stones. And uh, Bill, of course has all his diaries, so he just has minutia, you know, and I really like all those little facts. But this really goes into a lot of detail year by year when he was with the band and beautifully put together. This is a favorite for sure. Uh, a lot of these I kept because I was young when I got them, like this one. I remember this hardcover book, The Rolling Stones, you know, definitely dated now. But in its time, when I got it, was pretty special book, so I kind of kept it. And this is The Rolling Stones, A Life on the Road. Another beauty, hardcover coffee table book. Um, pretty good book. Getting a lot of nice pictures, some good uh, details about life on the road with the stones. And this goes back a while, because this was 30 years of music and memorabilia. Uh, the Rolling Stones album from Jeffrey Giuliani. Giuliano. He a uh, big Beatles guy, and uh, he does Beatles books like this. But this was nice. You know, collectible type stuff. Dated now, of course, but in its time, pretty cool book. So let me make some room. Bear with me a second. Let's uh, see how we can do this. Nobody is up there. We'll see how we do. So this is just a fraction of these really big uh, coffee table type books. 
And here was another big one, Stephen Barnard, uh, Street Fight in Years. This one mostly photographs, you know, some basic writing. Okay. And I will just make some room for that one. Try to do some big ones. Here's another Bill Wyman book. This was a nice one. Bill Blues Odyssey. Not really about the stones, but definitely touches on the stones, and it's a Bill Wyman book. And uh, I love the layout of these books. This is a this was a nice book. Blues Odyssey. Uh, what else we got here? That's big. This one came out a couple of years ago. This is big. All the songs, the stories behind every track, the Rolling Stones. And this is a series that's out there. You've seen this on Dylan and, you know, Zeppelin and Queen. And this was the version they did on the Stones. And it was a good read. And this is a beautiful book called The Rolling Stones Gear. All the Stones instruments from stage to studio. A huge amount of work went into this. And this is their actual instruments. Beautiful photography and the stories and the years and what they were used on and this is a pretty special book and these guys really really did their homework let's put that up there the problem with books is they're so damn heavy all right let's keep going with some big books and this is when I saw the Stones traveling show. I saw it twice. And this was the Stones exhibitionism. And this was the book of the exhibit. And they closed that, actually. It's done. But uh, what a great exhibit that was. Boy, I love that thing. Uh, this was a cool book. I did a video on this. This is called Tour Book 72 by Erwin Hojis. I hope I pronounced that right. And this was this gentleman's like life work. He literally did the whole 1972 tour. There is a video if you go to my Rolling Stones playlist on this. This is literally what a job this guy did. And uh, he printed it on his own. It's not officially available, I guess because of rights, but uh, what a piece of work that is. Um, these are really, this is a good book uh, for its time. The Rolling Stones Complete Recording Session, 62 to 2012, 50th anniversary by Martin Elliott. This is a legendary Stones book, literally covering like every song. Uh, and that was a really cool book, very valuable to have as a research. Uh, kind of a cheesy book, The Beatles vs. The Rolling Stones. Okay. Love this book. I saw this tour in 1979. This is a book on the New Barbarians, Outlaws, Gunslingers, and Guitars. Even came with a music CD. And this, of course, was Ronnie Wood's solo tour with Keith Richards and Stanley Clark and Ziggy Motoliste. And uh, the only book out there on that legendary tour, which I was lucky to be a part of. This is a cool book, Hot Stuff, The Story of the Rolling Stones Through Their Ultimate Memorabilia. This is Matt Lee, a legendary guy in Rolling Stone circles who has probably the world's largest and most valuable Rolling Stones collection. He even did his own museum now. So uh, that's really impressive stuff. All right, let's keep going as there's no way I'm gonna have room for all of this stuff. But we'll keep showing you what I can. These are like the cheesy kind of books, Treasures of the Rolling Stones. There's a series of these books on like all different artists. Um, you know, it's okay. Nothing special for sure. All right. I'm getting exhausted from going back and forth, right? Uh, I showed you this is the original Karnbach and Carol Bernson book. And this is also about the Tony totally Rock and Roll, The Ultimate Guide to the Rolling Stones. Again, all the concerts, their songs. Uh, set lists and these are like reference books. I totally like those kind of books. They're really cool um, Before they were re uh, Released the Rolling Stones Rock and Roll Circus. This was a pretty valuable book because of course it was only available on bootlegs and and then they finally released a book of photographs from it now not such a big deal because they released it more than once, but uh, 
And this is one of those cheesy kind of books. Phil Norman, The Life and Good Times of the Rolling Stones. This is really dated. And even in its time, not too impressive if you ask me. But what the hell. You can do that. And this was a really special book for me. Um, the Rolling Stones on tour. The first time I saw the Stones was in 75. And this was photographs from that tour. And they had, in my opinion, to this day, the best stage they ever had, which was the Lotus stage. And uh, this is a really fragile book. The binding always comes out. But that's what the stage looked like. And I saw that at Madison Square Garden in 75. So it's a pretty special book for me that I never got rid of, nor do I plan on getting rid of it. It's really great. Okay, this was a special book too, Roy Carr, an illustrated record, and he did a series of these books. Well, illustrated record is a series of books, and I have a couple. There's a Dylan one, and um, Beatles one, and this was the Stones one, and it's really special in its time. Tony Jasper, <laughs> this is a really cheesy little book, but in its time was a pretty special hardcover book, as was this one, <laughs> Rolling Stones in Concert, that's from 76 on the cover. And again, these are like, you know, and it's time was kind of cool, but now, you know, really kind of cheesy. But I never got rid of those because they're so old. This was a great one in its time. David Dalton's The First 20 Years, The Rolling Stones, and this was a beauty. Yeah, this was a really great book back then. Brings me back when I got these and read them. I was like, oh, this is great. This is a fairly recent one. I don't know. Decade or so ago. Love You Live, The Rolling Stones, Fanfare for the Common Man. And this was stories written by fans of when they saw the band. Great pictures that they took, notes, things that they wrote in when they first saw the Stones. Cool idea for a book. And that's a, that's a nice one. It's a different kind of book, too. All right, let's keep going. What else do we got here? Stone from Joe Wood. Uh, that was Ronnie Wood's wife. And uh, photographs and treasures from her life with the Rolling Stones. And that was a pretty good read, actually. I uh, actually met her. Yep, I actually met her. And she autographed uh, some stuff. This was one of my first Stones books, the Rolling Stones A to Z. And uh, again, really, really dated. But this had an alphabetical order, so you could just do a search by song or any topic you were looking for. And in its time, it was pretty cool. Uh, they've redone this one, 1972, Jim Marshall, The Rolling Stone, 72. And uh, it's a beautiful book now. This is the original release and photographs from the legendary 72 tour. Why not? Uh, one of the first books I ever read on the Stones and one of my favorites to this day. You know, some of it probably fabricated or from a junkie's mind. But Up and Down with the Rolling Stones from Tony Sanchez. I'll never get rid of this book. This was, when this came out and I read this, I couldn't put it down. And it was a great book and a bit of a bestseller, I think, back in the day. From my memory, anyway. Let's do that. Uh, what else do we got? The Rolling Stones Files, recently discovered pictures from the Daily Mirror. I said there's a lot of photograph books out there just of the Stones. I, don't, I tend to try to stay away from them. When they just photograph books, but I guess I get them every once in a while. Uh, here's another one, Stones in the Park. When they played Hyde Park in 69. This is just a book of that concert, Legendary Show. And certainly not one of the Stones' best performances. If you ever have it on a DVD or bootleg, like I do, really uh, subpar. Mick Taylor's first performance, too. Uh, this was another one of the first 30 years. Uh, the Rolling Stones Chronicle. And it goes year by year. And again, in its time, it was a pretty cool book. But certainly now, a bit more on the date side. I thought this was a cool Bill Wyman one. The History of the Rolling Stones in Cartoons. And yeah, cartoons that I guess he collected, put them out in a book. And that was a different kind of a book. Uh, I think Bill Wyman's books are, are really interesting, gotta say. They're different. 
We know all the Stones books out there. It's fun to see something that's a little bit off the beaten path, so to speak. Uh, this was a nice book here, Mr. Fantasy, uh, by Ethan Russell. And uh, not just on the Stones, but there's a lot of Stones in here. I probably should have saved this for another uh, another topic, because it's really not just on the Stones. So we'll put that over there. Uh, Keith Richards, My Life as a Rolling Stone by Barbara Sharon, legendary, probably the first book biography on uh, Keith Richards, and In Its Time was a fun book, good book, not great, but it was good, and yeah, we could stick this uh, wherever, a little there maybe. All right, let's keep going so it don't get too long. Um, what else have we got here? Some more photo books of Rolling Stones, 40 by 20. Different photographs. I guess I have a lot more of these than I realized, to be honest with you. I didn't think I had so many. This was one of the first books I ever had in the Stones, the Rolling Stones, an unauthorized biography. And uh, had some sheet music at the end, which was kind of a different kind of a thing to see. But that was fun. It's a good book in its own way. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. What else we got here that's kind of interesting? Let's see. A lot of these kind of books I have. Visual Documentary by Miles. He's written a bunch of books like that, a legendary writer. And this is his book on the Stones. I think this went through, you know, Steel Wheels maybe. Rolling Stones, Jared Mankiewicz, Mankiewicz, legendary photographer. And this is the Stones from 65 to 67. A lot of cool stuff in there. And more books that I like that. Here's a great book, Ron Wood by Ron Wood, Painting and Drawings. Um, that was a really cool book. I have another one, The Works. Oh, that's upstairs. You're not going to see that one, but I have that upstairs with my art books. I forgot about that. Uh, here's It's Only Rock and Roll by Steve Appleford. Rolling Stones, Song by Song. Again, a little bit dated. But great for what it was. In its time, that's for sure. And then we got a couple of books from around touring. This is the Rolling Stones Images of the World Tour from 89 to 90. This is the Steel Wheels Tour. And a similar book, A Trip Through the Voodoo Lounge Tour, Stripped. So a very similar book that was just really covering some tours. But uh, they did pretty good. Those are not bad, those books. Let's keep going, shall we? Where are we? Uh, here's another one, The Last Tour. This is a book similar to those about the 81 tour. Great tour that I saw a number of times. And here's From the Stones in 1990, a book just on that tour, very similar to this. So this is uh, 81. Oh, this is 82, not 1990. This is the same tour, but when it hit Europe, where they recorded, uh, you know, it's for the Still Life release. So there you go, 81, 82. Pete Fortetel, legendary DJ from WNAW, Myths and Stories from a Half a Century of the Rolling Stones, 50 Licks. And these are different. His analysis on different songs, 50 of the most important Rolling Stones songs, I think it was. And this was a really good book. Uh, you know, great DJ, really knowledgeable guy. And he did a good job on that one. Early Stones, Legendary Photographs by Michael Cooper. Oh, don't know. Hopefully you're still with me, but... Uh, there's a lot of books here. Uh, Rolling with the Stones by Kino. This is a home-produced book of his opinions on their best songs and tours and things like that. It was kind of cool. And what else do we got? We got these famous biographies. There's Keith Richards' Life, which uh, I thought was pretty good. I don't think it was as good as some people thought it was, but it's just me. A uh, book on Brian Jones. By Nicholas Fitzgerald and Ronnie Wood's autobiography, which I thought was pretty good, and Bill Wyman's Stone Alone, his first book, 
um, which I thought was really good. I wish he would have carried on after the early period of the Stones, but I guess he kind of did with that other book. Um, and we got more. We got a legendary book from Robert Greenfield, uh, Journey Through America with the Rolling Stones. So uh, this is a famous book. Probably seen that. And a book on exile on Main Street, classic rock albums. And uh, Nankering with the Rolling Stones by James Feld. You know uh, the Stones, Nanker Feld, which is how they would credit a lot of their early band written songs. Well, that's the actual guy Feld, and he lived with the Stones when they were first starting out. So, uh, kind of interesting stories that he had. This is a really nice book. These are really expensive. This is called Rolling Stones Worldwide, an anthology of their releases worldwide. And there's a bunch of these kind of books. They're very hard to find in America, and they're expensive. But uh, really nice if you wanted to see, you know, all their singles and EPs and things like that uh, worldwide. Up tight with the Stones, a book on their 72 tour, dated and old. And a book called uh, The Man Who Killed Mick Jagger. Uh, it's a story book, a fiction book. And some other classic uh, small books, On the Road with the Rolling Stones, from Chet Flippo. Uh, he got thrown off the tour because he wrote a bad review in Rolling Stone magazine on that particular tour. That was the 78 tour, if I remember right. But uh, good read. You know, what an inside take on Stone's tour. And a couple of other early books that are paperbacks. Um, book on performance. This is actually... The novelization of performance, I love that film. And then here's a book on the movie performance, uh, an analysis of it, paperback, which is really cool. And a book on Exile and Main Street from the 33rd and the 3rd series. And a book on Some Girls from the same 33rd and the 3rd series. So uh, those are cool. And a little paperback on the stones, really dated, but I kept it because it's so old. One of my first books, an illustrated discography in the Rolling Stones by Miles. Um, I remember when I got this when I was a kid. It had pictures of bootlegs, and I was like, ah, that's great. Got me into bootlegs from that. And the Rough Guide to the Rolling Stones. This is a great book, but of course it's dated now. But the Rough Guide are uh, terrific books on the, the books that they do on different artists. And what else? The Wit and Wisdom of Keith Richards Stone Me. Uh, this little quote that Keith uh, throws out there every once in a while, that are always fun to hear. So I think that about covers it right there. I don't know how long we're doing this, 20 something minutes, 68 Stones books. There you go, Alan. Uh, pretty much my collection of books on the Rolling Stones. Um, I do have a couple more that I forgot in my art books, but that could be for another video. I will continue, if you like this series, I have books on tons of different artists. And I could do uh, another volume episode where it'll be other books by other artists. So hope you enjoyed this as we dig into my archives. And uh, again, all of these books I read cover to cover. And they finally made it into the collection. Hope you enjoyed this. As always, I appreciate your support. Let me know if you have book collections. If you like this kind of a video, I can keep going. And um, show, tell me about what you have. As always, thanks so much. Stay safe, stay healthy. I will see you next time on the Alan Rosenberg Show.